We're going to be going over how to replace a uh, LCD screen in a Sony Lyo VGN CR116E. A couple of items that you will need. You will need a hair dryer, a pry tool, a guitar pick if you can't find these uh, pry tools. These pry tools are available off of uh, Amazon. You can look for a uh, um, an iPod repair tool and you'll find those in there. Just do an iPod uh, screen repair and you'll find these tools in there. They're pretty cheap. Uh, but if you can't find them, uh, you need something quick, a guitar pick would also work. Um, you need a small Phillips screwdriver and also you need some patience. Remember that in laptops, you have to be careful because uh, they're very uh, uh, sensitive or very uh, fragile. So if something breaks, it, it's very easy to break something. So make sure that uh, you don't uh, pull or yank on something and you, you don't need to. So just be careful with that. Uh, also remove all power supply or the power charger. And make sure you also take out the uh, battery. We start off with these um, four screws that are the very front. Um, you take off those four screws and uh, that will give you access to the rest. Here we have uh, our pry tool and uh, right before we do that it's a, it's a good idea to grab a uh, blow dryer and um, blow some uh, hot air in there for about five to six or eight to ten seconds it doesn't really all you want to do is just want to soften up the glue that's um, right uh, in between the uh, the cake or the cover and the and the base of the LCD here's a little short clip of just kind of demonstrating for us to soften up the glue here hair dryer and then we can proceed removing the screws Here we're going to start working our way out. Um, mine was already partially disassembled because we were uh, doing some of the things so we were painting it. But uh, we go in there and we start uh, pulling out from the edges. Just be very careful not to force this plastic cover because it can break very easily. So you have to work your way out um, and start on one edge and start unclipping all the little uh, clips that it has inside to hold it together once you remove the screws. You can uh, push at this point the LCD to the back and um, the trick here is that when you pull up this uh, LCD cover make sure you move it all the way to one side you can go either right or left but I did went to the right so just once everything's uh, loose move it to the right and then you, it's it's easy to take off one side which in this case I took off the left side first and then you can take out the, the right side at this point you want to make sure that the LCD power connector is removed um, There's also a data cable on the back side of the LCD that you need to also um, remove. And uh, once you, you, you remove the, the screws, you're able to lift the LCD screen off of the, 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 the base. And at this point, you can, you can see this uh, cable that needs to be removed. It, ha it has some adhes adhesive to it, so you got to remove it. Just b make sure that when you remove it, you take off the adhesive first and you start pulling on the on the uh, and you start working out the connector because it's very sensitive it's a very it's a flat data cable you don't want to mess it up we got this remainder or remaining four screws and go in there and take those out uh, in this next little clip you'll see where um, uh, you can separate the base and the LCD you can pull that up a little bit and you'll see that uh, the data cable is right beneath it where you have to remove it um, There's three screws that hold uh, on each side, which is a total of six screws that hold the uh, LCD screen. It's got that little base and those, you can see partially see those uh, screws there. You have to remove those six screws to be able to remove the LCD screen. If you don't remove those six screws, you will not be able to remove the LCD. So you have to remove those, uh, those, those screws to be able to take the LCD out.
this point we've pulled up our uh, LCD screen and there's that, that data cable that I'm talking about. Be very careful with that data cable, please. You have to remove that adhesive right there and then uh, start working the way out or uh, by removing that uh, cable. Just be very careful. It's very sensitive, very delicate. It's like a flat cable and you, you don't want to break that off or tear it off because there's, I'm not sure there's a replacement for that. Once we've taken everything out, we're ready for our uh, reassembly. Um, make, make sure that uh, uh, you follow these directions um, as much as possible. Uh, remember that you know, best thing to do is just try it for yourself and uh, and experiment with these things. But just be, be very careful not to break anything, not to force anything that's not supposed to. Uh, if it's if it's not coming off, something's holding it. There may be a hidden screw or somewhere you have to look and. Um, you know, various areas to make sure that you're not uh, pulling on anything. We're ready to set everything back in. And uh, what, what I recommend is when you get the new screen is set it on the base. And when you set it on the base, just put a couple of screws on each side. Don't tighten them up. Just set them loose where the screen won't fall off on you. And it makes it a little bit easier to connect the LCD screen cable. So make sure you connect your power cable and your LCD uh, data cable from the back side. And then once you set those cables back in, then you can obviously start going in there and uh, uh, putting back all the screws and tightening them up. I have uh, went ahead and uh, kind of speeded up the video a little bit to make it a little bit quicker. Um, but it just it's very simple. It's just you just put the six screws back on there, tighten them up, and um, set your uh, screen back together. Once your uh, screws are back together, we can get uh, start ready to uh, we can start getting ready to test it out. And you don't have to put the all the uh, the plastic covers back on. You can kind of turn it on uh, without that front cover, as you can see there on the video. Everything's been connected back. The screws have been tightened them up. I mean, tightened back up and so forth. Battery has been plugged back in. And on this computer, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on just to kind of test the LCD screen out. You will notice that uh, there was some updates still kicking in, but it's okay. Just so we can show you. Uh, this uh, screen I got from LaptopScreen.com. Uh, it was an awesome uh, experience with them. They it was a very cheap screen. I was uh, I was amazed. The price was about sixty five dollars, and uh, it was a top quality. It was a, actually a brand from it's a LG screen. So I was very uh, happy and impressed to see that uh, top manufacturer for sixty five bucks couldn't beat it. So at this point, the screen's working. Uh, it's back up and running again. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let it power up or power off. And uh, when I do that, then we'll go ahead and set up the 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 remainder uh, plastic cover. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope this video has been um, of good use to you. And once again, that lap, uh, screen was from LaptopScreen.com. Um, can beat it, so highly recommend them. So please check them out. So once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.